Hello and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. Today's video is sponsored by our Amazon affiliate link which you can see down below. So today I'm going to talk about watering African violets. I do get a lot of questions about this because there are the wick watering systems and then people will hear that you should water from below and that sort of thing. And I wanted to clear some things up about that. First of all, I know a lot of people have great luck with the wick watering systems. And if you do, that's really good and that's wonderful. Um, for me, I have found that they don't always keep my plants well watered enough. I am in a drier climate. I'm in Southern California, so we can get a humidity level that will go down to sometimes when we get certain windy conditions, 20%. Uh, it tends to, to, to range around 40, 50%, but it can go lower. So... Uh, I think if you're in a maybe a moisture climate, it may be okay. Uh, and like I said, everyone's different. But for me, um, and a wick watering system is something where you have a wick, which can be a piece of yarn, but it has to be something that's absorbent, that is cotton, not polyester. And what you do is you would have it at the bottom of the pot, and it runs through the soil, down through one of the holes, and then it stays in a water container and it, and it, will, and it will pull up water slowly and keep the soil moist. So, um, like I said, I've had, a, I've had a few losses of plants because they, it was not keeping them moist enough. Um, I did even try two or three wickings, um, I think it, maybe two, anyway. So I just prefer to make sure my plants are really well watered. Now this one definitely needs some water. So I um, was going to, um, I was waiting till today for the video to show you that. So this is an African violet, like we already mentioned. And now there is, you can water from above, which you would want to do. But when you do it, do it so that the you don't wet the, the, the foliage because African violets are, prone to foliar disease. They are, they, they, and which, um, and they are also prone to um, crown rot. So that's where the leaves are getting too wet and then they will rot. Also, another thing that can happen is that the leaves can start spotting and the leaves can start falling off and things like that. So if you're gonna water from above, stay away from the foliage. If you do get it wet, dry it a little bit. Another way you can water, which is actually um, a great way to make sure that you don't uh, wet the foliage at all is from the underneath. So what you want to do, you want to put water <coughs> excuse me, in a container that is almost the same size as the container that the, the pot that the plant is in. You wouldn't want a big pot like this. Well, for one thing, when I go to put this plant in there, the plant would be floating. So you want to use a pot that's a little bit bigger than the existing pot, just a little bit. Because when you do that, what happens is when you fill this with water and put this in, oh, there, the same sort of thing as what I was talking about with the wicks, that occurs and there's a wicking action that happens and the plant, the soil will begin to suck up the excess water and then this plant is going to get nice and heavy with water. So I'm going to fill this up some, and then I'm going to slide the plant in there, and you'll see that it's going down a little bit. As it goes down, that means it's starting to soak up water. And then I like to let it, to, to get it going even faster, I'll pour a little bit of water on top that brings it all together. And then I will let this sit for, yeah, you can let it sit for 20 minutes or so, half an hour. Don't let it sit much longer than that, especially when it's really warm outside because you can start some um, 
conditions that could create some root rot going on for you. So you want to be careful about that. But otherwise, um, it will soak up nice and quickly. And actually, it's already soaked up quite a bit. You'll see that the water level has gone down considerably. And it's pretty heavy, feeling pretty good. I'm going to let it do a little bit more. And then I am going to go ahead and pull it out and put it back. Well, actually, I, I will be leaving it in this for any excess dribbles. I'm putting it in here for now. And then I will check it in another half an hour and I will throw out any excess water at that point. Um, also, if you grow the African violets on a, on a humidity tray, which I do a lot of the times as well, then you could just put the plant on the humidity tray and let a little bit of it dribble through the, uh, the rocks and the, or pebbles or marbles in the humidity tray. And I have another video on creating a humidity tray. So that is also another thing you could do at, that, at this point when it's done watering. So it's nice and heavy with water, as I showed. And here we've already got a little excess. And you wouldn't want it to sit in the excess because you could create root rot. As, um, that's the reason why I'm pouring it out. So it's nice and heavy, and I will wait until to water again until it has it's starting to approach dryness, but not is dr not is not dry. So it still would be somewhat moist, but definitely not this this moist. So that is it on watering African violets. Thank you for stopping by. Please leave comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see, and remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.